Tim Panash, and welcome to episode 2 of Camp Memo. Team Captain Nick is having a one on one meeting with his vice captain, Charlotte. However, the meeting is not proving to be quite fruitful. Nick is really upset with how the knot tying challenge went. Hey Charlotte, what's the update on the knot tying challenge? Are you showing my technique to the team members yet? I'm so sorry, Nick. I have been busy with all the work you've been giving me that I didn't have time to. I don't want to hear your excuses, Charlotte. Just get the task done. Okay, Nick. The next day. Nick, here are the knots for the knot tying challenge. Some people on the team came up with great knots. Who made these crummy knots? What happened to the knot idea that I came up with? Well, I spoke to the rest of the team and we came up with other options. We thought you would like these knots better. Well, you're dead wrong. I don't like them at all. And since I'm team leader, I say we're going with my knots. Go tell them. But Nick... I don't want to hear it. Just, just do what I say. Later in the afternoon... And he said that since he's the captain, we have to do his knots. Nick can't just do that. We're a team. I just don't know what's wrong with him. There's nothing wrong with Nick. He's just using a centralized view of management. Historically, centralized management gives all the decision-making power to the manager, or in other words, the team captain. We could have a conversation with him at the meeting this evening. Then what would you suggest, Josie? We could try to convince Nick to take a more decentralized group system. That way, more people on the team could get a voice. I think a new team captain wouldn't hurt either from the looks of things. You're not the only one who thinks that. I overheard some team members talking about voting him out. I would nominate Josie to replace him. What do you think about becoming team captain, Josie? Well, 